要，我想看，欢迎来到 El Norica。And hello, everybody. Carl is here with another Aeronautica video. Today or tonight, there's a new update, version 100, or rather, 1.140. 1.140. Feel free to pause the video. Please take a look at the update notes. All right then. Preliminarily, there are the dealership updates has been rather the cycling of the dealership has gone too fast on the preliminary update 1.140. It's been fixed for the patch. We're here at Meihua International Airport. I've just finished. Logging six hours to this Airbus A330. Now it's at eight hours cumulative. Fairings at one caller. Unlike the other livery maps. Right, the major addition to this update is the new boat mechanics. As you can see in the heads-up display, there's already a BP or boat points. Which you can earn by logging time in yes, boat. And unlock points can only be done now on aircraft. And you know, on the optic note, both points are used to purchase Let's see if Meihua has there's not. So let's Oh, come on. Alright, so let's see. We can try Augustus, but uh, hope for the best. Any boat that has. Augustus has one boat, the Omega class super yacht. Since it's out of stock, it costs 
6,500,000 winch points, in addition to 40 boat points. And here's the typical yacht there. Is it 650? Yes, it's, it's not 6,500,000, it's 650,000 winch points. Give me an example. This is out of stock. Oh, come on. 237. Oh, really? Come on. I, I just typed 237 and now it's back to 255. Okay, so let's put this in aircraft. What? Ah. 242, 248. There we go, aircraft white. What about the others? Let's try a random color here. Let's let's try a shade of brown. Sunlink mahogany or Alright, let's add a reflectance as well. How can we make it like dark or shade of wood, like mahogany? Yeah, so it needs more red. Like this. Now it's like mahogany. And for the deck, we can make it um, a lighter shade of gray. 100. Oh, okay. Let me try this again. Oh, yes. The text box is bugged. 177, we're making this the light aircraft gray. Okay, it's back. Uh, 176, and then 171. Okay, so it's 221, 171. Okay, is this on stock? All right, so here is the uh, Mega Class Super Yacht. Yeah, this could be silver. 168. Oh, come on. This is getting annoying. 169, 172. 172. <laughs> yeah, this is getting... Hmm. Metallic silver. The Omega class super yacht. So this is out of stock, so you it gives you double the boat points. <laughs> As if it were on stock. Let's try Kaisporo. Does Kaisporo have a boat on stock? All right, so you might remember this one, the Reliance class container ship. It used to cost 1.5 unlock points. If it weren't on stock at the dock house, now it's moved here. And instead of just buying it with unlock points if it's not on stock, that's which is like 33% chance. As usual, it now requires you to have four boat points if out of stock. Remember, yeah, this is the same container ship, it's just it's moved to Kitesboro. Hmm.
Oh yes, it's... We'll go back to our original spawn at Hampton Field. There's the standard J, and then... And this one, this is a white rarity, so it's always on stock. Normally you would... Yes, so... No bolt points required. More board has been moved from Kalwella to here at the starter island, Hampton. In any case, it's the same motorboat. Alright, so it says here that the next one is at Linwood. Good old Linwood. Alright, so... You know the Super Fortress. Alright. So this mortar boat here, the Zodiac RHIB, it's moved to here, along with this new boat, the Lockheed Sea Shadow. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The Lockheed Sea Shadow. So it's a stealth ship. So okay, fourteen, four. Ah. The text box is, is so annoying. Come on. Okay, 16. And we can make reflectance to just 0 0.01. Okay, I shouldn't be dragging along this. Okay, so 14. 14. 16. Good. And where's color three? I guess there's none, so we'll just make a just a generic color. The sea shadow. You won't see this on the map. <laughs> like the other stealth aircraft. This has a blue. The F-117. Right then. Now let's go to New England Town. We use the PC-21. And the fishing trawler. It's moved from Colwella to this New England Town. Same boat. No points required. Yeah, I mean, not winch points, it's boat points. And that was the fishing trawler. The next one is at Toronto International.
We'll use this A350. And you know this one, it's the Great Laker, the Fitzgerald class. So you don't have to just upgrade an Apollo for this. You can just now buy it directly. And if it's out of stock, it's 24 boat points extra. I guess it's 12 for a purple if it were on stock. And we have another Laker, the Trigurta class bulk carrier. Costs 430,000 wings points. Second Laker added to the game. Okay, so I clicked here and it's back to 255 for the original color it is, so. Let's make this shade of jet black no oh. there we go <laughs> approximate coloring the Tragurta class bull carrier So the Fitzgerald and the Trigortha Lakers. Now then, the next one is at Castle Adel. Pseudo Bikini Adol. And the T2 Tanker. You've known this already. It's it's just moved. It's no longer a convertible boat. Same tanker. The one that replaced the Zephyrus class. And that's Salem Regional. No, it's no longer a regional airport. Salem is now an international airport of its own. <laughs> Salem Airport. And here it is, we got a, the NG-254 class container ship. Remember that starter, starter from the dock house?
Now it costs two boat points. Or two boat hours. To even buy one. If it's out of stock, it's four boat points. But in stock, it's two. The same container ship. It's just moved from the dock house and uses its own currency. All right, so the next one is at Chapel. Right, let's teleport to Chapel International on this the KF twenty one. The B Delta Cast bolt carrier. You don't have to convert your Fitzgerald Laker into this. You can just buy it without even converting. And it only just costs two boat points as well if it's on stock. So no more conversion from a Laker to this. It's the same carrier. Now it's purchasable, purchasable on its own. Along with it, we have the T-Class Super Tanker, or is it T-I? Yes. So ULCC stands for Ultra Large Cargo. Yep, it's not cargo. It's an ultra large crude carrier, so it just basically transports crude oil. <laughs> well, you meant the word crude there, but yes, a ULCC. It's a super tanker. So, hard to maintain there. One of the best of its class. The TI class super tanker. <laughs> That's a lot of oil. <laughs> I guess it's twenty boat points if it were on stock. <laughs> All right then, so that was the The B Delta and the TI. Oh, haven't we checked it? <laughs> yes, we already did, I see. <laughs> so, where is the next one? It's at Fiskar. So, we travel to this. We teleport using the KM to Fiskar, and where are the 
here's the boat. Alright, so the starter tanker, the Barracuda class, it used to be called as Orca class, now it's Barracuda. But still the same boat, the same tanker, the same freighter of black gold. <laughs> now it's called Barracuda. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Okay, aircraft white two seven two two nine and two hundred eighteen. I said two hundred eighteen, not two hundred fifty five. Okay, so yeah, two hundred uh, uh, two hundred eighteen. Uh. All right, there we go. The Orca Barracuda. It could be jet black as well. It's the Orca, jet black, and the Barracuda. It's more gray than this. So you don't need boat points for. Your starter tanker here, unlike the um, other duck house, <laughs> their green rarity is the only starter from the duck house which is already white. And the last one is at Valois. So let's teleport using one of our planes at Valois with this Concorde. <laughs> the France. <laughs> yeah, that's the... All right, so here we have Yeah, so it used to be called Apollo. Am I right? Yep, Apollo class bolt carrier. Now it's some German sounding name, Neptune, or I don't know, is it French? Is it German? Neptune class in light bolt carrier. So you can use this in the in the river of Avalon. <laughs> yeah. The canal. Is a river a canal you can actually cross this around like pseudo France, but pseudo Paddy. It's an inland carrier. So it's the same Apollo class except it's changed to an M and Oh wait, yes. This is a bolt carrier. This It's the old yeah, this is the Wait, the Orca and the yeah, Barracuda and the Neptune, they, those are from the Dock House. And that Green Rarity one, that's also from the Dock House, so those two were demoted to White Rarity, so it's always on stock, but, you know. Only the freighter is the Green Rarity and requires boat points. As always. So, same bolt carrier. And this one here, we got another super tanker. The Battleist class.
Gigant. Okay, so when I click this, the text goes back. All right, 255 is returned. Let's. Huh. Right, so this is aircraft white. No oh, notes. Come on. Ah, okay. Yes. I hope they fixed it in the patch. Okay, so this is the one that should be the aircraft white. And this one should be the lighter aircraft white. Yes, this is the aircraft white, aircraft white, and then this should be red. Or shade of red. Le Rouge. The Scalette. The Battleist class. So that's all for the boats in Valois. The Neptune, or Apollo, and the Battleist. Right, so those are the boats that are already released a long time ago. And we've explored a few new ones. Let me check the notes. Right, so let's first teleport to Auchenburg, the pseudo Edinburgh. All right, so Auchenburg, we got another Air France, same livery. We'll just teleport with the G700. For, to be fair, so this is Auchenburg Airport. How does this compare to Edinburgh? There's the night vision. All right then, so here's the comparison. There's two green rarity boats. If it's on stock, as usual, two, two points. If it's not on stock, it's double, which is four. So here's the Cuddy Sark class clipper. <laughs> what a piece of history. Is it, does it run on steam? I guess not. Right, so color one, it are this yeah, the color one's the sail, so this should be something around here. You could say that and then color two are the effects. We can make it some kind of brownish shade around here. Yep, it looks like mahogany. Yeah, mahogany's more red than that, but a typical wooden brown. And then color three it's really the hull, which is around jet black, so 14, 14, 16. The Cuddy Sark. Not absolutely Scottish. <laughs> it's more English than Scottish. <laughs> it's a museum ship. <laughs>
And here's a railroad container ship called the ACLG-2. And uh, roll, roll, that's a uh, roll on, roll off. Uh, one of the newest container ships in the game. It's green rarity, so that means if you have enough hours on your white rarity boat, you can. Yeah, sure, have a try at this. So, uh, hold on. Okay, so color one is uh, oh come on look at this it's so glitched it multiplies and then how long I hope they they might have fixed this on the next patch once uh, 131 133 okay so that's Okay, so color one is the the structure, the bridge, etc. Color three is the the hull. We'll just make this aircraft white. Uh, 227, 229, 218. All right, so here's the the roll-on roll container ship ACLG2. The Cuddy Sark and this roll-on roll-off. Right, so those are the boats in Ockenberg. I'm doing this in order of the list, so we need to go to our next one. It's at Harden International. Look at this, 7879. Almost perfect, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, so the next boat or boats are at Harden. And hello, here it is, a highway class. Where you got an effort on this one? It's a vehicle carrier. So color one is the bridge, so And color two is the the rest of the hull, so we can make it um any color we like. How about green? And then color three should be the the deck and the floors and etc. <laughs> so um, aircraft gray. Uh, The Highway Class Vehicle Carrier. Not much reflectance. Uh, 0 0.06. Yep, car transport. Yeah, it could be blue. And we have here an ocean liner, American class. What a beauty. The epitome of cruise ships.
Did this America? We need the good red around here. And then, and then color three is the top of the smokestack. We'll need a gray. Then color one is mainly the most of the hull. So it's Right, so here's the America class ocean liner. How cool is this? So that's the highway and the America. Next on the list, we're going to Norman. <laughs> So here's my favorite plane, the B2. Oops. Then there's three classes of boats, three rarity types. Green rarity, it's the Rio class. It's also an oil tanker. It's an Aframax, so that's it's the medium giant. Okay, so color one, the bridge, color two, the floor, and color three should be the hull. Here it is, the Rio class. All right, then to the yellow rarity, Cape class. And um, so much orange here, so let's put this as a floor area here. So color one, yeah, and it should be the bridge and the pipes, the equipment, the effects. I'm going to do a little of this add. Right, so color one, it's the bridge. Color two. Color two should be the hull. Color three is the floor. The cape class. And finally, we got here a liquefied natural gas carrier, Qmax. All right, so we know that color three is the, the floor, the decks. Color two is the hull, and color one is the bridge. The Q-Max. Yeah, this needs to be zoomed out more. Qmax. 
So Rio, Cape, and QMAX at Norman. So next on the list is the Chodai Shack. So which plane? You see, 350. Let me call in. And I bought, I traded from another player this NC254. We'll just teleport using this. Here's Chodai Zhang. So, so here is another liquefied, <laughs> yeah, it's a liquefied natural gas carrier. There's the purple rarity, now we have one. Okay, let me. Okay, what? Alright, here it is. So, two boat points, it's on stock. Right, so as usual, the color one is the bridge and what is it, the equipment. So we need to keep it some white color there. Color two should be the hull. Yes, that's right. And color three, the floor. And here is the global class LNG carrier. We've seen the yeah. Got the QMAX, now we have the global class. Perfect starter once you you're familiarized with the boats. This could be your starting natural gas carrier. And now we've got an evergreen A-class container ship. I mean evergreen. So context here. I, my first impression said that I thought Evergreen was around. It should be sold at Meihua, but here it is. This is a gigant or oh, well. <laughs> right. This heck of a giant, an A-class container ship, blue rarity. So by logic, if it wasn't stock, it would be 20 boat points. And for the sake of argument, if you want it evergreen, as in, well, it was a solid May one. Let's put it around this kind of green color for color two. And color three should be the, yes, the flooring. And I can't just yeah, good luck seeing this on stock for just 20, oh yeah. Yeah, this is actually, right, so the bridge here, there's a lot of, um, yeah, so much container boxes. You can toggle them, you think they're, they're transporting something empty, but. Here's the Evergreen A class. Fuxie. Yeah, a little bit zooming out is more big concern now. The bridge is here, and this is the stern part. And yes, it just clipped the cranes. Or did it just touching or Oh almost it clipped? Come Oh great, that's wonderful. Yeah, so the crane's going up, this should be going up in part, but yes. This is so close. And once again, there's the Evergreen A-Class container ship. 
what other boats do we have here? Okay, so we're now going to teleport to this obscure place called the Unity Transport Hub. You can use Rosalind or the next of Valkyrie. So, right. We're here at Unity Transport Hub. Let's start first with this. Oh, <laughs> the Marlin class. It's blue rarity. <laughs> so it's 2040. So color two, it's the hull. As usual, and then color one is the bridge. Color three should be the flooring and the rest of the vessel. The Marlin. Then we've got two Maersk ships here. They're both containers. The E class. And Maersk is some kind of blue. And then color two is for the floor. So we need to switch it out for a something like metallic gray, and then color three is the hull. Is it green? Original is... The E-Class. Right, so color one is always the bridge, and they swapped out the colors two and three for the floor and hull. And here's the Sovereign Maersk class. The Post Panamax container ship. Same color scheme as the Maersk E class. The bridge, the floor, the hull. Right then, let's let's go next to Octanus, that recently remodeled airport. All right, so look at this jet too; it's almost consistent, just to be more bigger than this. Our boats for today, it's the, here we got a patrol vessel. This is the Devon Stand Patrol 2205 FRP. Right, so I'm trying to copy from A. Right, so what is color one? Color one is this stripe. And then color two is the second stripe. Let's make it aircraft white. Simulate the Netherlands. Uh, it's blue. There we go. <laughs> the 
2205. Dutchman. Or is it Frenchman? And here's a Blue Rarity Cruise Ferry. The Europa class. Europa. Europa, Europa. Whatever you want to pronounce it as. And color one is most of the hull. So let's make it aircraft white. It's uh, 230. Yeah, I know what. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's. Why? Why is this happening? Is this good? <laughs> Look at this. Why is this happening? Okay, 257. Okay, this is, shouldn't be 257, but 237. Alright. Now. Color two, or the detailed one, so it should be red. Yeah, so bright. Let's make it darker like this. And color three is the deck, so we need a aircraft gray. Oh, really? All right. The Cilia Europa. The Europa class. Cruise Ferry. What do you think? All right then. That's it for Actinus or Actanus. Let's now go to Oscar Floyd, the pseudo Keflavik. Use this Iceland airplane. It's uh, not much detail. Yeah. All right, so we got two boats. We got a forty-two oh seven. And as always, color one is the top stripe. Color two is the second stripe. Let's make that blue as well. And color three is the rest of it. The Davenstad Patrol 4207. Oh, yes, it's a color wants the flag too, so we can make it a uh, Netherlands as well. Oh, it's the other way around. There we go. There we go. That looks, looks more Dutch now. The 4207. All right, there's now a B-Class container ship, also of the Merce brand, and as always, we will put this in a color one of the <laughs> aircraft white, color two, the hull, let's make it some shade of green. And color three is the, the deck. There we go. The Maersk B class.
All right, let's now teleport to Leovetsk, where our next boats await. Yeah, there's a lot of boats. All right, there's here's a Gusha class liquid naturalized natural gas carrier, and it's wow, look at this dome. Yeah. Domey. <laughs> so color two, that's will be the floors. And logically color three is the the hall. Color one is the bridge, the domes, top of the smokestack. The Gusha. Oh, it's pink. <laughs> a bit of a pink, but here we go. Now it's more yellowy. The Gusha class liquefied natural gas carrier. And the other one. The LK. <laughs> hmm. Here we've got a nuclear icebreaker. The shit sucked. Or not shit sucked, it's shit this yacht. The LK shit this yacht, ya. That's, yeah, yeah, I said the, the flipped R. The Shistis Yat Ya. The nuclear icebreaker. So it runs the nuclear power. And it can. I want to see if it can go in advance. It has customization. What a rarity for the new boats. So color three is the floor. Let's make it. Aircraft gray, and then color two, that's the hull, the bridge, and the middle. What's the approximate color? Hmm. Hmm. Something like this? Hmm. The LK Shisesiatya. Hmm. Right, so that's all at Leovetsk. Now let's go back. To the most commonly visited airport, Clarence. So we'll use the Concorde, or we can use this, the 767 with the Omni Air charter plane. All right, where are the boats? Okay, so there is a food boat and one of the moderators, uh, the cool 123D, won it in an event. Now it's public. This little guy here. It's, it's the same model, I guess. It's called the cool boat. It's a pontoon boat. But it's cool boat. So color one is most of the effects of color one. Can we just make it some kind of a white or like this? Color two 
is this trim. And collar three is the other trim. The food boat. And here is an Olympic class ocean liner and it, Titanium modeled this or remodeled it. So how does this compare to the original Olympic? Hmm. Right, so color three is the top of the smokestack, color two is the middle, and color one is the top deck. Or rather, the hull. So it's some kind of black. With some blue tinge. Can we add reflectance to this? Hmm. Right. Okay, so there should be some kind of shade of yellow, which, but what kind of yellow we should be using here? And then color three is jet black. Okay. This is getting worse than I thought. And here is the Olympic class. Or should I say the RMS Olympic? Great piece of history. And here is the Queen Mary. Which is that museum ship. <laughs> yeah. The museum ship at Long Beach. So, so where was that? What happened to the collar? I guess they. Alright, so collar one is the hull. Should be some kind of black, so let's make that jet black. Oh, come on. 54, 55. 50, 55, and then 56. Here we go, Jack Black. And color two is smokestack. It should be some kind of red. Yeah, some, some red modification there. Just use it as an approximation. All right, so yeah, we should switch this around. All right, and this one should be the jet black. There we go, Queen Mary. You shouldn't call this Queen Mary class because yeah, it's it's like the actual ship. No, oh, orange just left. All right then. So that's all for at Clarence. Now next on the list, it's we've got Umabutsu. So teleport to Sudo, the Sudo Kansai or aka Umabutsu International. Okay, ooh ooh, here it is. The like on it. This is 400F, so reference point, and then let's check at the same planes. We've got a bird class container ship.
and <laughs> be grateful to the Americans. <laughs> or <laughs> no, not the Americans. <laughs> but yeah. Or rather, just be thankful for the Japanese for building these kinds of ships. Uh, yeah. All right. So here's the bird class. It's rusty red for the hull. So let's start first with the bridge. That should be around aircraft white, and then color two should be the. Here's the red suits. It should be like maroon. So. There, this kind of maroon. And color three is, of course, there we go. <laughs> the bird class. And we've got here the the largest carrier, the Seawise class. Okay. So it's some kind of rusted red. And then the floor should be red as well. There we go, that's rusted as we as it is. Let's make it more it's it's rusted red, but it's scarlet. As we say it Scarletto. And yes, it remains to be aircraft white. Here it is, the sea wise. Lots of oil. Hmm, yeah, this should be matching. All right, <laughs> rusted red, and here it is. The largest boat of its <laughs> largest one in the world, the Sea Wise, and it's a total the bird class. No, it's it's not a it's an oil tanker. It's a container ship. The Sea Wise, yes. All right, so let's now teleport to Anhedral City Airport. As we follow along the list, and we've got here a water taxi, the MSTX. Mm-hmm. All right, so <laughs> six capacity. 
So passes. You want to take a pass on this little passenger carrier here, would you? Right, so color one is the housing, and color two, the hull, and three, the deck, the floor, the MSTX water taxi. And we have here a hovercraft, the Saunders Row SRN4. What a beauty. Alright, so color three is this little line over here. Should be around jet black, or maybe. Oh, let's make it aircraft gray instead. It works that way. So color one, it should be red. Right, so color one. Then color two, are these the stripe, color three, the pipe. Yeah, I think this should be white. What do you think? It should be gray, large shade of gray, or. The SRN4. All right then, so there's a few more chips on them. On the other minor islands, so let's start first at Mill Show. According to the list. So here's the Mill Show estate. We will use this XF11. And this one, costing at 2 million wings points. The Azam class super yacht. Is it two million? Yes, that's right. Good luck locking. <laughs> yes, locking sixty hours on your naval journey just to buy this luxury of a boat. So I think that this, so let's see what color one. Color one is the most of the hull. Color two are the walls. And color three, as usual, the floor. Should be gray. The asm. Now let's teleport to Europe, huh? We'll use this... I've not been using this Arion for a while now. And it's a white rarity, so you can just... You can just start with this little... <laughs> Emily class as your beginner container vessel or that the other one in was it in, oh i should what was that again where do you get the other starter container vessel or this is the starter container vessel and then the one at kitesboro is the green rarity the emily so this is a one you can use in the rivers so color two is the hull. And color one, that's the bridge, the other main deck. Look at that, there's a, you can park a car here. So it naturally should be like an aircraft white. And color three is naturally the walls and then the, the deck floor. 
So it could be a gray. The Emily. Oh, that was quick. Make this black. Here is the Emily. A perfect placement at Europe, huh? because you can, you can sail us across the along the river, not across, along the river. So that's Europa. Europa. And there's a motorboat at Pembroke. So where is Pembroke Plantation? Let's use this Icon A5. And this blue rarity, Motor Yacht A. Or is it Yacht A? <laughs> So another super yacht. <laughs> what a lot of luxury. 550,000 winch points. Right, so just for a quick reference, color one is the Bonham Hall. Should be around a shade of white. Color two is the bridge and the deck area. Yeah, we'll see the bridge and the interior. The walls should be of white as well. And color three should be some gray or any color you like. It can be wood, mahogany, brown, whatever, any brown, but also gray. Here is the motor yacht. Zoom out. Who'd ride in these things? And quickly now to Samporalku. The pseudo Saint Barthélemy, or Juliana. <laughs> the Oceanus class super yacht. <laughs> it's purple rarity, so this could be the basic yacht. So 24 boat points, 12 if it were on stock. So another Irish, <laughs> another Irish, so color. Let's make this quick. Color one, the top. Top deck should be some kind of white. Color two, the bottom hull. And then color three is, yes, the floor. So, put it some kind of a wood color there. Yeah, this seems logical. Brown. Any kind of wood. As long as it's waterproof. <laughs> yeah, so... There's color one, color two, and then the interior, the deck, color three. The Oceanus class. Or should say Oceanus. It doesn't have a class of its own, it's just, just a generic yacht. <laughs> Super yacht. Alright, so the next one is that Hippe. So Hippe Airport. So we got here an E-195 we can use to teleport to this. So this seems to be the <laughs> pseudo-Georgetown, or another airport in Guyana. And here is the Pendulous class. This could be your next bulk carrier if you wish to take the bulk carrier route. 150 capacity. So, to make it quick, color one's the bridge and this. And the. The crow's nest, the forward post, if you want to call it that way. And color two, that's the floor. So, it should be some kind of gray color. And then color three is the hull. So it could be black or any color you like. The Pendulous. And this is just blue, so you can't change this. Oh, this is too much blue here, so... Right, Pendulous. Or we could match this. It's, can we match it with the... Here it is! Hmm. 
the pendulous. All right then. Where's Hippe? What's next? All right, so let's go to the one of the other starter airport at Ockney. There should be a boat around here. Here's the Pioneer class liquefied natural gas carrier. So if you want to take the LNG route, you can start with this one. You can go up to get the purple rarity one and then well, maybe that yellow one there. Your starter liquefied natural gas carrier. As always, color one, the bridge, color two, the hull. And color three is, of course, the deck. The Pioneer. Now let's teleport to Sandris International. Seven four seven eight I, and look at this, another piece of history, the Prussian class. Doesn't this sound German or the original Prussian? So the color one is the trim. You can make this. Uh, I can add a gold. <laughs> and then color two is the bottom of the sails, so we should make it like an aircraft white for this one. And then color three is the hull. So. Well, let me see what the original Prussian looks like. All right, so the Prussian, it's... Oh my goodness, <laughs> sorry about that. Ugh. Well, <laughs> cup just fell. Nothing to worry about. So here's the Prussian class. It's... So the color three and right, it should be black. The sail should be white. Then the trim. It could be red, but it could be any color you like, but always oh, just, the sail should always be white. But look at that. <laughs> okay, so in the front, the sails are open, but look at here, it's, look at it's closed. What? Is this a glitch or something? Oh. The Preussen. Or de Preussen. That's, I guess this is the plural form, so it should be D. The Prussian. It's not a class of someone, it's, it's a unique ship. Yeah, it's, it's not original Prussian, it's. The pride of the German Empire. <laughs> the Prussian class. The Prussian. All right, let's make this quick. Let's go to Sully. Too broken up. Why is it not by airport order? All right, so the Rosenroth class. Another liquefied natural gas carrier. I'm going to continue on this path. 12 boat points out of stock, 6 if it is on stock. Right, so color 1 is the bridge, and then what is it, the exterior? Be white. Color 2, floor. Color 3, the hull. 
Rosa Knot. Hmm, it's a darker shade of red, so could we do that? The Rosa Knot. Rose Red. <laughs> what a fitting name. Another liquefied natural gas carrier. <laughs> Alright, let's make this. Alright, so let's now teleport to Oakport. So what can we use at Oakport? 747-400, Hungarian Air Cargo, Hungary, Hungarian. Yeah, this is a property of Wizz Air, though. That's, let's use this. And here we have, okay, can I say this? SUS class! <laughs> Come on. How long are you going to keep up with these Among Us themes? The SUS class! Is this a made-up boat or something? Or is this featured in Among Us? I never played the game. Alright. So, color one, that's the... The deck area and the bridge. The wall, deck area, the bridge. Color two is the hull. So... Any color you like, but the dark, I prefer darker ones. Hmm, can we match the orange in this one? Alright. And color three, logically, is the floor. Floor deck. You make it wood or metal, or just prefer metal. General Cargo Vessel. Sus class. Is this even real? Right then. Should. Hmm. Not much lightning at night. All right, we've had enough of this suspicious-looking cargo vessel. All right, so the next one is at Cantaloa. Internacional. Here's an ore carrier, the Vale Max. And VL stands for very large. Right, so the hull should be black. We'll make it jet black. And color three should be around the shade of gray. Something like this. You would devote yourself to bulk carriers on this and ore carrier. So we so here is the very large ore carrier Veil Max. It's a class of its own ships. Veil Max. And the last one is at Altac. Pseudo Kaitak. So, which plane can we use here? Use the prototype. 
or the hybrid or cathi. Yes, we use cathi just for the purpose of this old. All right. Our last one for today, or should I say, the Voyager class, another super tanker. It's a coal carrier. Yeah, not coal carrier, crude carrier. <laughs> So the Voyager. And it's a very large crew carrier. So you know the drill. The bridge is color one, color two. Should be gray, metallic gray, and color three, and a dark color. The Voyager. All right, that's all the boats in the new release of Aeronautica. Now, let's make a quick look at the aircraft. So we've been to Eisenhardt. Where's this orange rarity? <laughs> Is it orange rarity? <laughs> I see. I expect it to be blue or purple, but <laughs> I don't know how rare this drone. So we got a jet powered drone, the Northrop Grumman RQ 4B Global Hawk. It should be <laughs> aircraft gray as usual, or you can, you can make it in uh, American aircraft. Just the military colors, 146. 153. Oops. You can't use tab on this one. 158. There we go. Ah, okay. 158. 158. Delete. Ah. Right. So here we have the Global Hawk. It's orange rarity. Why well, should be priced higher because of its uh, military nature. And it's just because it's a drone. Not much I mean, it's for combat. <laughs> the Global Hawk. That's the first new aircraft. And our second new aircraft is at Lernavo. So, oh, it says Lernavo. And beforehand, I've just, here it is, the Boeing F, F-18 or A-18. You want to, it's, whatever you want to call it, say, it's either a fighter or a carrier base plane. Both a fighter and a carrier base, it's a military fighter, and A, that's instead of a carrier, that's the Boeing F-18, A-18E, meaning that's single seat. And then maintenance, you can uh, open the advanced customization and see, you can even uh, convert it to an F. So that's a double seater. 
E, that's the single, the F, that's the double seat, it gives you access to transport flights. And you can actually, um, yeah, you can add a drop tank, you can add a refueling pod, you can add, what do you call these, are these bombs? Like strike bombs and land missiles. In the pilots, you can add another, more some more drop tanks, more fuel, more range, missile. Okay, so I'm wrong. Let's say uh, air to air missile. Yes, so anti air missiles. And then the mid wing, you can add another bomb or more air to air missiles or drop tanks. Basically, you can just put all drop tanks. Okay, so, and then the outer wing, you can add an air to, there's a air to ground missile, or a sidewinder. And then, you can also add another sidewinder at the wingtip. So that's that, that's your Super Hornet. Much a little different, different to the, uh, okay, so, Good thinking because let me see where was that okay here it is I've logged already five hours on this F-18 A-18 let's what did they add in this advanced customization okay I see now you you can make it an F-18D or that means double seat, you can, as usual, you can add transport flights. But it remains to be seen, it's, it just adds one capacity. Otherwise it's cosmetic. But it's useful if you're trying to emulate the other, what's this? Yes, this is, this is Air Force. So. Uh, I have to um, look at this again. Uh, what's the squadron again? It's 306. Uh, no, not 306. Uh, here's this. Um, Fire Squadron 97. So we can, we can, we can do this <laughs> post production, but that's about that. And now let us go to the main point. Let's. It's not the F 15s yet. We're, we're, where's the. The database so there's an upgrade to the super hornet that's the growler so where's here it is the boeing ea18g so it's it's only double seat there's no single seat but otherwise it's it's the same as the super hornet you can add delivery of the Air Force or Australia. Yeah, Royal Australia. And then, other than that, it's electronic warfare. So you can, even though it's for radar jamming, it's, then you can put missiles in there. And then, other than that, it's almost the same as the Super Hornet, the EA 18G. And it's also aircraft gray. All right then. All right. Now for the main point, the F-15. So, where's the F-15C? So, we've got here a F-15C Eagle. I've already logged them both at five hours at least. And what can customization we can add here? Oh yes, we can upgrade it to F-15D, double seat. So it increases capacity at the cost of range and the additional stall speed. So you can make it a C or a D. But if, but from the title, it will always remain as C. But will it be named as D when you spawn? Hmm. We can see it in a future video. You can change the formation lights to a, a lit one. It gives you the light. 
it's dark and meaning it's you don't see the light. It has a light effect on the night time or <laughs> on dark places. All right, so conformal stores you can add some air to air missiles or fuel tanks. On the center line, you can add the drop tank. Increases range at the cost of some for speed. The pylons, you can add another drop tank and get more drop tanks. Yeah, just drop tanks. It's the only option you have here. And then on the side, you can you can add the missiles. They're both air to air. So really, it's a right. And you can convert this to either the strike variant or the maneuverably test bed. So the strike variant is, okay, so this is, let me confirm this, this is the uh, F, this is Griffin's Talon, those. I've actually two of these, so we'll upgrade this to the strike variant, shall we? 30,000 wings points, <laughs> not wings points, 30,000 money, and it requires two hours. Those, yeah, they're the same. So you can, um, Right, to the strike variant. Here we are, strike variant, which is here it is, the F fifteen E. So customization, you can also make it an F fifteen. Can you make this an F fifteen F? No, come on, you have F fifteen F. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's in the agenda there. All right, so you can add a drop tank. You can add the air-to-air -air missiles, as like the eagle. You can the center line. That's the drop tank, or oh, come on, where's the GBU ten? Come on, where's that thing? I don't see. I don't see. So we got the drop tank. Where's the GBU-10? It's gone. But do I have to press the Y key to do that? Hmm. All right. In any case, we'll do that in a future video. But all right. So here's a JDAM. Those are. Air missiles as well, hmm. or yeah, since it's a strike fighter, it's they're meant for ground targets. And you can also do the formation lights, and you can add a targeting pod. So the sniper or the lightning. Hmm, it only affects the right side. There we go. Right side. Right, so that's the Strike Eagle. Alright, so let's go to my other Eagle. Where is that? It's this one. <laughs> it's straight up Harden. So. We can upgrade this, let me overhaul. We can also convert this to the maneuverable, <laughs> yes, the test bed, same price, same required number of hours. Yes. And there we go, that's the, the F-15 active. <laughs> so. Statistics. So comparison, here's the Strike Eagle, and this is the test bed. All 
right? You can customize it to add the drop tags, the air to air missiles, and then you can add another drop tag, more air to air missiles, formation lights, and then the nose. That's this one for testing, and you can use a standard tip whenever you're doing missions or not, but yes, I'll, I'll use this instead, just for posterity. All right then, that's about it. Oh, here, and for comparison, let's... All right, so, for comparison, once again, the Eagle, Strike Eagle, and then the active. Yeah, you can remove that. Yeah, you can remove that thing. Just but there you go. Comparison of the F-15s. That's all for the aircraft. What else? All right, so before we go, we'll go back to Oscarploy and then let's see what changed. We'll just use this poker. So the update says about the military area, which is around so the cargo area, or the... Let me check the ATC part of here. Okay, this is it. The military. A lot of fighters. Uh, yep, they're F 16s. Okay, these are not F 16s. These are, uh, okay, this one's an F 16. Uh, these are SABs. The SABs. <laughs> Alright, so there's, there's E 767s. Yeah, you can put cargo areas in there. There's Cargo freighters, <laughs> no, yeah, jet freighters. That's about it. That's the military area of Oscar Flight International. All right, so Lionham Air Force Base. We'll use this B seventeen. And look at that. How does this compare? The apron is detailed. You can now park your planes at these hangars. You can now taxi properly. Okay, there's one eight, there's three six. Yep, they change the runway numbers to make it more vertical. Rugby fields. Oh, are these rugby? Yeah, not American football. It's a, they look like rub, rugby fields. <laughs> And the new improved, new and improved Lineham Air Force Base. Right. Then. All right, so. Right, so let's end the video with some more customization updates to this Fighting Falcon here. This is this Norway. Oh, oh, come on, look at this. The UV Mike of Mix again. 
So you could add a conformal fuel tank as before. Drag shoot. You could put a drag shoot. Whoa, whoa. Look at it. There's a drag shoot extension. Look at this. Let's see. They take the. Right. <laughs> yeah, we should. I should ask someone to up to pay an update in F16. So you could add a drop tag. That's. You got bombs and uh, <laughs> they pave way. Look at that drop tags. Just make it. Okay, you got one of these. It's uh, missiles or air to air missiles. You could get uh, sidewinder missiles. You could put <laughs> more missiles in the big tips. As usual, you can change the engine. And then there's also the option of putting an F-15. Here's the F-16D. This is the double-seater. Or you could make it improve D+. Plus. You can add the field tag. That, yeah, okay, so there's an F-16D. There we go. F-15D+, plus, the color of the... Okay, single seater, double seater, improved double seater. That's the F16. But if you chose the D, it's the title will always say F16C. Just, just to let you note. All right then, where's the Viper? Right, so my Viper is at Casio. And okay, this I'm not should be here. I shouldn't be here. All right, so you have advanced customization for this Viper Zero, and okay, the it's in a mess once again. We'll have to update it to another JSEF livery. You could, yes, that's right. Drop tag. It's before the F sixteen, you get a bomb. You got these bombs and then the paveway. And then is it paveway or anyway? Oh, it's the, oh, it's a scope. Yeah, it's a scope. You can add more drop tags. You can add more bombs. Air to air missiles. More air to air missiles. Anti sea. And guess what do you call these? And on the wing tip, you can get more air to air missiles. All right then. Finally, let's check the the MiG Twatsat Deviat, and the it's ruined. Deliver. All right, you've got all of these options for the the Twatsat Piat. You can add the refueling probe and all of these options, and it's. Um, it's already been two hours, and then with that, see you on the next aeronautic video then.